evening and thank you for joining us on this Friday night. Tonight, the FBI and Justice Department are investigating TikTok's Chinese parent company for potentially spying on American citizens. Plus, it's Friday, so we go on the road with an artist whose talent has given him a new lease on life. But first, the extraordinary announcement today about Russia's leader, Vladimir Putin. The International Criminal Court at The Hague issued an arrest warrant for the Russian president for war crimes implicating him in the abduction of thousands of Ukrainian children during the war. Ukraine's president hailed the move as a historic decision, but the charges are largely symbolic. CBS's Ramey Innocencio is going to start us off tonight from inside Ukraine. Good evening, Ramey. Good evening, Nora. Tonight, the International Criminal Court is now backing Ukraine's claim that Russia is abducting its children. Ukrainians here feel this is the first step to justice. Russian propaganda claims the country is trying to save Ukraine's children and that the hearts of Russians are big and benevolent. But the International Criminal Court today was clear. Russia is kidnapping and re-educating children as Russians. Accused of war crimes are President Vladimir Putin himself and Maria Lovova Belova, the director of these alleged abductions. It would be impossible to commit such a criminal operation, says President Zelensky, without the order of the top leader of the terrorist state. Moscow has denied the accusations and does not recognize the ICC. The news comes as diplomatic support arrives from China. Today, Beijing confirmed President Xi Jinping will travel to Russia to meet with Putin on Monday, their first summit since the war began. Beijing has proposed a ceasefire, which the White House dismissed. And a new show of solidarity for Ukraine from Slovakia, following Poland. Together, a pledge for at least 17 Soviet-designed fighter jets. While old or in need of repair, the hope is it could break Europe's hesitation to send even more warplanes. But in a remote Ukrainian farming village of Solonchaki, far from the halls of power, 70-year-old Natalia Kogut never imagined war would land in her backyard. A gift from Russia, she says. Debris from a Grad rocket like these, fired by Russian forces. The village has no apparent strategic value, just caught between two armies. Since the war began, half of its 600 people have fled, and most children have been evacuated, leaving behind the elderly. What would it take for you to leave? Nothing. What happens will happen. I'm not going anywhere. And Vladimir Putin will not be arrested as long as he stays in Russia. But if he travels to any ICC member country, 123 of them, the U.S., by the way, is not a signatory. That warrant means that he could be arrested. Nora? Ramey and Asensio, thank you so much.